Hi. Hi. Uh, please introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Sujatha Knighted with NXP, uh, Director of Marketing in Wireless Connectivity. And I want to show you a demo about our new MCXW series of wireless microcontrollers that support Bluetooth Low Energy and 802.15.4, so Thread and Zigbee. With this demo, it's based on our MCX W7 D2 that does Bluetooth low energy with channel sounding to be able to do distance measurement between two objects. So what we have here on this board is the MCX W7 D2. Yeah. So this is acting as my mobile phone. And then there's another board just like it up here that's acting as a thermostat using the MCX W7 D2. This display is being driven by one of our IDATM XRT processors. And as I move this object further from the board on there, you'll see that the AC unit that was on the display has disappeared because it's noticed that I am no longer in the room. And so it's going to turn off the air conditioning. And then when we get back close again, it oh, well. turns it back off. So as a special wireless technology. Yes for locationing, so it can measure the distance and be able to provide this data point to control devices in the room. And it can be used really to save energy costs and make sure that something's not on when there's nobody in the room. And it uses Bluetooth? It uses Bluetooth, and channel sounding is a new feature that Bluetooth is um, in development on. They have the uh, draft spec available publicly and are expecting to release it by the end of the year. Because I've seen the Bluetooth uh, triangulation positioning stuff, right? Yes. This is different. This is, so they used to have RSSI. This uses time of flight, um, and so it uses different technology that allows it to be more accurate, up to plus and minus half a meter, and also more secure to protect it from a security attack. And then you don't need to have uh, several... Correct. This is just between two is, points. Just two points is yes. enough. All right. How far will be able to go? Um, that's a good question. It's it's so far. It's still early stages. Like we haven't, the technology hasn't been released. It needs to see. But it the thing. It, it can get pretty far, so that it can, like you saw from here, that. It needs a line of sight. It needs line of well. Oh, what's it called? Line of sight. Yeah. 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 It cannot have stuff in the middle, in between. I mean, it can't have walls, but it's okay if there's certain you know objects and other devices in the middle. All right. So there it is, Bluetooth channel sounding? Yes. All right. And uh, do you have other MCX stuff around here? I do, MCXW, if we walk around. Yeah. So this is our Matter demo. So Matter is a um, new wireless technology that addresses interoperability, provides interoperability in the smart home. Yeah. So we have a full Matter system set up here with Matter controller that's controlling the um, interface here. Uh, we have a thread border router. This here is the MCXW71 on this board acting as a sensor, a temperature sensor. And then this is an, a customer product, a CARA um, contact sensor using one of our older parts. So when this releases, it shows that the door has been opened. And then we can control different things like the light and window shade through the system. But the MCXW is in this end device because MCXW is a low power, multi-protocol wireless, single chip solution to be able to run the wireless technology as well as the application, in this case as a sensor. So the MCX can do different, uh, different spectrums, different, uh, so not just the frequency of the Bluetooth. Area? No, so the MCXW supports Bluetooth, it's 2.4 gigahertz radio with Bluetooth low energy and then Thread or Zigbee. It doesn't do higher frequency or lower frequency. All right. Uh, and all these products are on the market or coming? The MCXW71 is coming, um, sampling in the second half of this year. All right. And then there's N. Yes. So the MCXN is a different technology. This is not wireless connectivity. This has an integrated neutron neural processing unit. And this demo here is to be able to detect presence and change the controls through touch, um, suppress, so you can press it, or you can just wave your hand over it and see that it's changing and making it hotter there, so. All right, thanks a lot. Yes, all right.